at the border between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, you see several people trickling into this side of Uganda and others also crossing to the other part of Congo. And of course, we've been warned that you cannot go beyond uh, this very point because the security on the Congo side does not allow anybody, especially journalists, to film their border. But according to the security on the Ugandan side, who could not speak on camera because they are not authorized. They say that it's very hard for anybody to tell who is a refugee and who is not. But we are going to the camp at Nyakabande Transit Refugee Center to see what the situation is like. According to the office of the Prime Minister, Nyakabande Transit Camp in Ichisoro receives about six Congolese refugees daily. The camp is home to over 238 people, many of whom have been traumatized by decades of conflict. Cases of sexual violence and brutal killings by armed militia have left a fluid security situation in the eastern DRC provinces of Equatoria, north and south Kivu. We spoke to a 35-year-old woman who we will call Mwiza to protect her identity. She narrated a harrowing ordeal of how she escaped death by the skin of her teeth at the hands of the Mai Mai militia. <laughs> Mwiza fled to a refugee camp in a different part of Diara Congo two years ago, but the militia continued tracking her. In December last year, she came to Nyakabande Transit Camp. But the horrible experience she went through continues to haunt her. <laughs> The camp's caretakers are offering her psychosocial support to help her go through the ordeal. We liaise with the district mental health department to try to handle most of those mental health related issues through counseling and then some of them of course need medical care. Most of the refugees here are children between 2 to 10 years. Uh, those are unaccompanied minors. So most of them are attached to caretakers and of course when you talk to some of their caretakers, some of, those, some of the parents of those kids could have died. Muiza is just one of the many women in the camp who are recovering from post-traumatic stress disorder. The camp manager says many women have chosen to suffer in silence. Some of the other refugees have fled from forced recruitment by militias. 42-year-old Nyambechi Yahaya is one of the survivors. He fled from Katwiguru in Uruchuru, near the city of Goma. Nyambeki, who is still traumatized, says it is his second time to flee. He fled to Uganda and sought refuge in Chaka 2 refugee camp in western Uganda, where he lived for eight years. For now, the future of Nyambeki and his colleagues lies in the hands of their caretakers at the camp. Some of his campmates hold on to the hope that peace will be restored in their restive country. They always ensure that they get their daily meal to see that day. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV Chisoro District.